I'm about to find out. Out of nowhere, the party hear a voice. Funky G, already you have found your way to this dark and treacherous place. My dear Funky G, you have grown to be bigger and stronger than I ever imagined. I will no longer ask you to turn back. From now on, I will trust in the powers that you so clearly possess. And I will do all I can, possibly can, to be of assistance to you. I would like you to accept this gift from me. I wish you all the luck in the world, Funky G, my son. Oh? Yeah, it's a popsicle. Have a popsicle. Glittering stone. It's a sage's stone. It's dope. I bet you if I peep at it, it's going to go, This has mysterious usefulness. What does it do? Fucking useless ass. Goddamn peep ability. This rock restores some of each party member's HP in battle. That's amazing. Peep at it real quick. Hell yeah. Yo, that is pretty freaking epic. That's a heal all move. I'm going to give that to... Well, Bianca can hold it for now. I may not have her hold on to it for long. But for now. Well, guys. It is a it is a big map. But here's the question. Is the map just a world map? Can I fly around here? I probably can't fly. I can probably magic carpet, though. Can I ride my magic carpet here? Let's find out. Oh, well, never mind. You gotta walk. This is probably basically like a dungeon. You just gotta walk to the end, you know? So we're gonna do that. Is it like a regen stone? Holy crap, it's a great dragon and a bird. Um, it's like a... It's an, a heal all stone. It basically, I think it heals all party members when you use it. I'm going to try it out once to see. Again, we're using this opportunity to possibly level up everybody to even them out. I can't imagine I'm going to level up Bianca enough to really use her for the end, but we'll give it a shot. God, that fire attack. So much damage. Fuck you, Great Dragon. No, it's not a one-off use item either. It says it can be used multiple times, Frog. Didn't you hear me say that? It's a lonely looking place. I can just look at the map to figure out which way to go. Sort of. I think I have to go down and around. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Oh boy. We might have some places to explore here. Da, 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 da. Ooh, damage. Ooh, damage. Could y'all not have two attacks per turn? Because I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Don't care for that. Care for that. Let's try Sage. Just own out right now. Ah, damn it, my daughter. Yep, see, it does heal all. That's amazing. It heals everybody, even the people in the fucking bench. That's incredible. I love it. Hell yeah. That's, like, just as good as multi-heal, but I get to use it infinitely without any MP use. That's amazing. Ward learned safe passage. whoop de doo Anyway, rip to my daughter, but you know what? Zing a zing zing, baby, wake up. I don't care about holy protection now, it's useless. Alright, what the hell is this place? Oh, it's like a little town, nice. Wahoo, wahoo, I finally turned into a goo man. Hope my friend Rocket turns into a goo man soon, too. Slurp. Goo man. Cool, we get a free in here. Well, it's not free, it's anything but free. There's going to be a shop here that has good shit that's going to cost like a million billion dollars, isn't there? That makes me worry. Nothing on the bookshelf. Nothing on the bookshelf. And written on the back of the book in really terrible handwriting. Grar Madalena. Come back to us soon, Grar. Wow. Cool story. Oh, okay. Just a shortcut outside. Let's see what's upstairs. 
Just to end with a sleepy angel boy. Oh fie, oh fie, be warned, Xena Dragon, Nimzo's might does wax daily. Forsooth, should it not abate, I fear he will break the seal and transcend the limits of Nadiria into the world above. Oh fie, oh fie. Oh Nimzo, I'm coming to wreck your shit so. You had to tell FML to keep the soap in Lunar last night? Was he going to get rid of the soap? He should know better than to get rid of anything if it's not necessary to get rid of. He should know better. This is Precaria, the only town in the whole of Nadiria. Okay. Armor shop. What do you got? Stuff I can't afford, that's for sure. Flame armor. We're good on that. Angel Leotard. It's pretty good. Mirror armor. That's pretty cool. Reflection armor, basically. Power shield, I already had. Silver shield. Magic and fire base attacks. I'd love to get that for Beatrix more than anything. Man, so expensive. Great helm. Everything is so goddamn expensive. I'll never be able to afford most of this. Although I could probably sell some shit. Let's see how much money I can get from selling shit. I don't mind selling some shit at this point. We're at the end of the game. Like, stuff I'm just not going to use. Da -na 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 -da -na. Zombie mail's only worth 250 Hades helm. There's no better way to polish all those important items than with this. Wait, what? Polish items? What? Hella's armor, not even worth that much. Jeez, these are worth so much. This is such a good item, but none of my people who I actually use can use it. I'm just going to sell them. Like, literally nobody in my party could use that, so I'm going to sell it. Or, I don't know. Am I going to sell it? I bet you my freaking... Well... They're worth so much. It's so tempting. Alright, I can sell this silver mail for sure. He was also very impressed by Luna's boat song. I mean... Luna's singing in that game is just awesome in general. Do battles give you gold? They do. They do. I'm hoping the battles here will give me a lot of gold. Maybe I can grind a little bit. Get rid of both these iron masks. I'm just trying to see how much gold I can accrue from selling all this shit I don't need anymore. It's old. I've just been accumulating it because I haven't needed the money yet, you know? But now I'm at a point where it's like, I don't need these items anymore. Rope of Serenity times two. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Sell them. We're not wearing them, so why would I need them? What if the finale is like Final Fantasy VI, where I have to use like multiple parties and stuff? I mean, I guess Rog, but still, even then, I can get better equipment. Although I didn't sell those claws, I didn't do it because they're just they're so good. It's hard to sell them, you know. Magic armor. I'll sell this. There's better armor now. Full plate armor. You can go bye-bye as well. I'm up to 25k. I can buy something. Just making sure I have nothing else I need that I can just sell that I don't really need. Staff of Anti-Magic? I can sell one of these. I don't need two. I don't even know if I need one, but I'll keep one. You can have that. I can buy another one of those somewhere, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll... Keep the other stuff. Okay. And actually, before I buy armor, there's probably a weapon shop here, too. We should see what kind of weapons there are. Welcome to the item shop. What you got? He's got the Hermes hat. Oh, you can actually use it like a chimera wing. Interesting. Wow, it's actually better than the hat that Bianca's wearing right now. What the hell? 
charm. Nifias gives you pesky spells a hard time hitting them. Wow, do I have one of these already? I have one of these on Funky, but Jesus, you can buy them now? Might want to buy one of these for everybody. Shit. Make it so spells can't hit you as often? That's amazing. I mean, I don't know if there's a weapon shop, but there probably is. There it is. Found it. Oh, boy. All right, so Dragon's Bane. Good against dragons. Blizzard Blade. Good against enemies who weak are weak to ice. Demon Spear that no one in my party can equip. Why, not even Sancho? Isn't he a spear guy? Great bow. Sancho can wear use that. Interesting. Staff of Resurrection. I'm guessing this can actually revive people for free. That's why it's so fucking expensive. <laughs> Flame Tang Rumorang. I like that. Hit all enemies. That is actually probably a very good item to have at this point. And honestly, if one of my other party members... If, if it wasn't Funk or Funk Jr., I might buy that, but I'm not going to use it on them. So no weapon I really want. Not really. The Grey Bow would be good for Sancho, but I might not even be using Sancho. Grandmaster Nimzo lives to the north of Precaria at the summit of the Great Mount Zugzwang. He is almighty. Even the so-called legendary hero would be powerless in his presence. I may be human now, but Grandmaster Nimzo remains my master. I will be loyal to the end game. You got it, dude. Ooh, we don't often see the likes of you around here. Surely you're not from the human world, are you? No, that can't be right. You're one of us, aren't you? Saved from your monstrous heart by Madalena's superpower. Yes, you'll make a fine who- I mean, a fine human. Human. I bet you wouldn't believe it by looking at me now, but I used to be a rector, you know? It was all hellfire and brimstone back then. But thanks to Madalena, I'm a well-balanced, well-rounded individual now. A bit too well-rounded, if the truth be told. And to think, as a priest, I always thought gluttony was a sin. So he's saying he's fat. I don't know how much longer Madalena can continue to hold or keep Nimzo in check. The spark of life inside her is growing weaker all the time. That much I do know. Something must be done, and quickly. Oh, I'm on the, I'm on the way, yo. Don't you worry. I'm on the way. You want something to drink? Maybe you'd better not. Or you'll end up regretting it like the man by the watermill. Oh, yeah? What happened to the man by the watermill? What? No, I'm not drinking any booze. A sin like that will turn me back into a monster again, and I'm not going back down that road. Way down and go down that route. Oh, by this mill? Wow, this is a uh, pizza machinery. Ooh, seed of resilience. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so the one thing I think I might end up buying is I think I'm going to buy one of those magic dodging accessories for everyone. Because even though I just got all that extra money, those accessories are pretty cheap and probably more useful for everybody. Anyway, elf and elixir is good. All right. Oh, it's this guy. Eaw, do you have any regrets about your life? No. No, Eaw, that most feel good. Moost feel good. Then you must have this. It's the Analum Retentium, a book of tales from Precaria. Sure. The Analum Retentium. I don't know what that means, but we're going to look at it, I guess. An illustrated scroll of such dread that it doesn't bear looking at? Peep. Okay. Peep it. Appears to be a knickknack. Oh, it's just a knickknack. Boo. It's just a knicky knacky. Which means we can go take it back to the knickknack and knickknackatorium or whatever that place is called. Oh, hello. Strike it. Strike a light. You went and found me. But that don't mean you're getting the treasure I nabbed. Well, then I'll have to beat your ass for it, won't I? Merry man. You ready to get your ass handed to you, son? I'm going to extra salt on his frizzles. Eat my fire, bitch. 
Ooh. Ooh. Man, he's probably weak sauce right now anyways. Just whoop his ass. If he's only going to hit me for 11, he ain't, he ain't going to last long. Ooh, put me to sleep, why don't you? Wow, everyone but me. Like, fuck everybody but me. Anyway, easy peasy fight. Fuck out of here and give me your treasure, bitch. Stola staff. Stolo staff? Appears to be a weapon. Seems like you can relieve paralysis and petrification. Okay. Again, an item that's worth putting on everybody, or putting on everybody, putting on somebody so they can use it in battle to, you know, heal status effects for free. Always good to have free healing at your disposal, am I right? Can I examine this at all? No? Okay. I figured since there was blue smoke coming out of it, it might do something, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, anything else here? Okay, wait, I wanted to buy... I wanted to buy Elfin Charms for everyone. I feel like one for everyone's a good idea. That might have cost me 9000 but like, yeah. Huh. Rock bomb shards. I've never really looked at what those do. I think I have some of those already. All right, so I have 19K, which I don't think is enough for any of the armors, right? Other than the flame armor, which I don't even want. All right, we'll just save my money for now. I might come back here and buy something with some more money. But uh, for now, that's good. Let's go ahead and head out into the world and explore. Work our way to the end, I suppose. I know they said that's the only town down here, but that doesn't mean there's another, like, not another, like, side cave or something, you know? Do I play horror and murder mystery games? I mean, I absolutely play any type of game, Pixie, if you take a look at my channel i literally have a like a playlist of playlists that's just horror games and like survival games murder mystery i can't say i've done a whole lot of those type of games technically persona 4 was like a murder mystery type of game if you want to be technical wow that was interesting he like killed himself but, yeah, I haven't played a whole lot of murder mystery type specific games. Plenty of games with murder in them, i tell you what. I'm going to use that uh, Sage's Staff some more. Keep people healed up. Oof, that dragon hit hard. AI Somnium Files. Yeah, that was basically a murder mystery. But not in the sense that... Like... You actually really had to... I mean... You didn't really have to figure out who it was. It was just a visual novel that played out. And you learned the murder mystery as you went along. It wasn't necessarily something I had to, like... Solve super hard. Like... Who done it? Because in that case, you could say something like Ace Attorney games are murder mysteries. Because they are, but not really. Damn it. Oh, wow. They all survived that. Kill the Balib! I believe I can kill Balib! Stop freezing everyone, you dickbag. There we go. Balib is dead. I believe that Balib is dead. Keep keep using that stone. You recommended AI and Doki Doki to your business partner with the admonition not to play either with her daughter around. 
I mean, probably the best, better choice, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Padfoot wore off. Oh no. Like, it really fucking matters. If there really is nowhere else to stop on the way to the end here, then, well. I'm assuming the end is gonna be a dungeon, though, that we have to go through some bullshit. Why didn't I heal? I meant to keep healing, but I fucked up. You know what? Hit him with a multi-heal, son. Damn it. Damn it. Both the healers died on that turn. Fucking garbage. That's okay. I was already expecting to have to go back and heal at some point. Jesus. It's worth fighting these fights for the money, though. Although I haven't been paying attention to how much money I've been getting. Level 35 for Monkey G, though, bitchin'. Beatrix 2? Nice. Good shit. 300 gold only? It's not even that good. Your partner was like, the Doki Doki's the one with the anime girls, right? I mean, technically, yes, it is. Anyway, Diablo 3 was a good one. Also been watching my old Metal Gear games. You're up to the third one. I'm assuming you meant Diablo 2, because I didn't play Diablo 3, but I had fun with that, even though I'm not really big into those type of games. The Metal Gear series, however... We had a good time with those. Like, that was one of my first, like, big endeavors of series of games that I did. And it got pretty popular, too. Like, that's one of my most viewed things I've ever done, is the Metal Gear series. Speaking of which, I was talking about this before. I don't know if I did on stream or not. But I was thinking about, like... I know I did like, oh god, they're knocking my homies out of my party right now. This is not good. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, like, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid games, you know, since I played them all through on the on YouTube. But one thing I did do one-offs of were the Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 games, the MSX version games, you know? And I was thinking about it. I'm like, I should go back and actually beat those, like, just to say that I did. Because I was enjoying them. I just did them as one-offs because it was like Metal Gear Month or whatever. And I just didn't have the time or desire at the time to do them all the way through. But looking back, I'm like, I could, like, that could be kind of my 10 year anniversary revisiting of the Metal Gear series is just go back and finish things that I didn't finish. And those two games are kind of on my mind. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I haven't decided really. Man, those guys were dangerous, man. They were knocking my party members out and shit. Did not care for that. Alright, so what is this place? Because this is most assuredly not the actual final area. This place was once the great dungeon of Nadiria, the backbone of the underworld. And to the north of here, soaring high into the skies, the mighty Mount Zugzwang. You would be wise to avoid both unless you enjoy feeling chills run down your spine. Okay, well I'm going to go here, so thank you, bye. There might be some stuff here worth my while. There's a book called Meditations. No being in this world may ever enjoy victory against such a formidable might as I possess. But those who dare venture into my deep lair deserve a morsel of glory. Those who dare venture far to the north to the poisonous swamp that lies mouth of Zugzwan. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to Nadirius. Oh, there's a TNT board here. Are you serious? Of course there's a TNT board here. Well, guys... This is what we're going to be doing for a minute. It was funny running around in two, not stealthily. 
Oh, like Metal Gear Solid 2? Yeah, I was pretty pretty bad at being stealthy throughout the entirety of the series, really. Do an anniversary? I should, I should. And I've been doing anniversary stuff this year if you haven't caught any of that, Pixie. Um, I played through, I replayed through Super Mario RPG, which was one of my, was actually my first ever blind playthrough I ever did on, on the channel. Um, and then I also replayed through Xenoblade Chronicles. I played the, the uh, definitive edition, which I had not played yet. Um, but that was like one of my favorite let's plays I ever did in the early s stages of my YouTube stuff. And it's one of my favorite games of all time now because of it. So yeah. And that definitive edition was amazing. I loved it. But yeah, I, other than that, I haven't really done anything specific to an anniversary. I mean, I have got to play some Turtles this year. You know, that kind of feels like an anniversary thing. The new Turtles game was pretty dope. I was kind of hoping to get to the Turtles collection at some point, but I don't know when that will happen yet. Ooh, teleport or minus 500 gold? I'm going to go teleport. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Never mind. But I would say my main goals for anniversary this year, the 10 year, I did them already. Metal Gear is kind of the only other one that I'm like, I feel like I should do something pertaining to it. And maybe the only other thing that kind of comes to mind is maybe something Final Fantasy, which have I done anything Final Fantasy this year? Other than the beginning of the year, I think I was when I was finished up 14, right? Have I done anything else Final Fantasy though? blanking for some reason but i don't think i have a a mini metal in the pot let's go that's how i can get more mini metals play this fucking mini game i was just trying to think how can i get more mini metals you know that's a way play the pixel remaster of final fantasy 6 i'd much rather take the time to play something that i haven't done on the channel yet frog that's like completely different not to say it's going to be something blind, because I've played most of the Final Fantasy stuff that I want to play. But there's still stuff on the channel I haven't done. And if I revisit those old Final Fantasies, I would revisit them with a challenge in mind, or some kind of different way to play it. You did tune in a bit to my Final Fantasy Online? The Final Fantasy XIV stuff? That's cool, Pixie. That's a long playthrough if you ever watch the whole thing because I just posted it, you know, with long sessions. And I'm actually not even done posting it yet. I have like four more or five more episodes to post. And then I'll be all caught up with posting my 14 playthrough, that is. There is more 14 to do. We still have some raids and shit we haven't done. There's still new content coming out. Hey, the village shop. Let's go. They're really There's something really special in the Final Fantasy VI Remaster? Special like what? Frog, I'm curious. Um, I don't really want any of this stuff, so no thank you. I might use these diamonds at the very end of the game. I'll put them in my inventory, you know. But I don't want any of your shit. Bye. Do I have any new games that I'm keen to play? Would it really be a spoiler, though, Frog? Are you sure it's something that's unique to the Pixel Remaster besides the music? Because I can't imagine what else... King Coral's Catechism... Is that a f key item? Or like a, rather a, a knick-knack rather? I don't want to go in this dungeon. I really don't. Oh, they actually sing with voices in the opera? That's cool. That's, I mean, it's a spoiler, but it's not really. That's a minor spoiler. I'm not too worried about that. That looks flutter like some really nasty gas. I lose 81 MP? Jesus. That's like all my MP. There's also a new dungeon? Nuh uh. I got three more rolls of the die. 
That'd be pretty dope if I could first try this TNT board. Well, we're teleporting now. For better or worse. Hell yeah, more rolls. But do I have any new games that I'm keen to play, Pixie? Um... I do want to play the new God of War when it comes out, although I probably will not play it day one, even though I do want to play it. In fact, I'll tell you right now, I won't play it day one. I already know I won't. But I will be playing it for sure. Um, that also goes for the next Spider-Man game whenever that ends coming out. trying to think of other new new stuff that's coming out that i want to play that's already like coming out soon there's really not a whole lot no look how close i am to the end ah That was fucked up, man. That was fucked up. I was right at the end. Right at the end, man. Alright, well I have a lot of TNT shit, so just keep going. Next round, here we go. <sighs> Fucking perfectly land on the goddamn trapdoor at the very end. Piece of trash. I love going forward to go backward. It's the best. I'm not too worried about the monsters on the board, so it's fine. Dude! Don't do this. Can we get a number that's not a two? That'd be super. Don't call friends. Don't goosebump me. Get out of here. Don't RL sign me. Get out of here. Dude! Can I not get a two? That would be great. Wow, what a great spell I just cast and did nothing. That was such a wasted fucking MP. Just attack him. I'm just sad because it's going to take five turns. I was just hoping to kill them quickly, but no. These guys are weak sauce, though, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to have no MP when this is over because they keep draining it. But anyway, just to kind of talk about the Final Fantasy thing a little more, since I really don't have anything else to talk about during this board game shit. Um, I have a few ideas of games that I've thought about. Nothing's planned. Nothing's coming soon. I've just been contemplating Final Fantasy games that I haven't done on the channel yet that I would like to do at some point. I've always wanted to. I just I finished the main series, and I kind of just decided I wanted to take a little bit of a Final Fantasy break. But I've always I always have that itch to play something Final Fantasy. It's just, it's always there. So I'm like, what do I do next? And there's options. We have Final Fantasy X-2, which is definitely something I said I would always do. Um, there's always Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, which is a, a pretty good game. I don't like it as much as the OG Final Fantasy Tactics, but it's still good. Four, five, six. Is the forest? I'll take it. Oh no, never mind. Um, there's always that weird, like, World of Final Fantasy game. There's always, um, I don't know, the spin-off fucking Dears of Cerberus on fucking PS2, which I actually don't have a copy of. There's just lots of options, is all I'm saying. A Final Fantasy theme song. Final Fantasy Type-0, another game I've had since, almost since it came out, and I still don't, haven't played it. There's a lot of options. World FF, do it. Do it now. I'll do it when I want, Dragon. Bitch. 
pretty sure I've played the FF6 Octopus Rex Your Day in Opera. Yeah, Final Fantasy VI is pretty good. And that octopus is a little bitch. Pennies from Heaven. Funky G's purse feels somewhat heavier. Ooh, 100 coins for me, woot. World of FF. That's two votes for World of FF, huh? Weirdly scratches the Pokemon itch and then FF itch at the same time. I mean, I have looked at the game a little bit, so I know like what it looks like and that it's weird. I've just never played it, so I don't know anything else other than how it looks, really. It's definitely something I would consider. Oh yeah, and there's always that uh, Stranger Paradise, too. I almost forgot about that game. I haven't played that either. Is there a Final Fantasy Tactics crowd control? I actually don't know, Frog. I'm going to say no, because I don't know of many PS1 games that have crowd control, but maybe. I would just mention the Stranger Paradise Pixie. I was just thinking I haven't played that either. Uh, I'll go this way. I'm not going in this cave. Screw that. Nope. Not doing it. We have ten rolls left, man. Well, I say that as I get two more rolls back. Just don't throw me in a trap door, baby. You can keep having my MP all you want, because who gives a fuck at this point? I have ten. All right, well, let's look at the map real quick. What number would I want? A one would give me plus three. Two is a question mark. Three is that. Four is money. Five is a teleport. Six is a cave. If I go all the way across here, I think it goes this way. Where's the end of this? Ends over here. So I'm guessing the teleport. Or I already know. The teleport will take me. Where did the teleport take me again? It takes me over here, down here, down here, down here. Yeah, I'll take the teleport. We'll do we'll do a we'll do a, was that a five? One, two, three, four, five? Let's do a five. Four, five. So what does the game board do? Um, basically, you just play the game board to get the prize at the end if you win. Usually, there's a pretty good, like, equip equipment prize. Usually, usually. Well, I'm assuming this, since this is probably the last TNT board in the game, there's a good prize. What is this? Entrance to a treasure trove? Yes. You've piqued my interest now. This here is a treasure trove. There's four rooms, right, with a treasure in. You've got to pick one of them, and then get in there and get the treasure before time runs out. So you get two rolls on the die to decide what your time limit's going to be. All the ones are the lowest. All the sixes is the highest. Okay. Wow. One. Three. So that's at what? How long did I get? 13 seconds. Wow. All right. Always left, y'all. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh cool, I fell down. Well, wow. I'm not gonna get any of the treasure because I fell down. Dope. Dope. <sighs> well, at least I get to go back to the game. I thought maybe it was gonna kick me out of the maze too. All right, well from now on, if I hit the treasure room, I'm definitely checking them out. Hopefully there wasn't anything too crazy good in there, because that was sad. I didn't even get close. I've wasted so many turns on this, like, go, because of how many times I had to backtrack. So I'm wondering if I can even make it to the end without running out of t rolls. But anyway, I don't know if I, met, I read that out loud, but Dragon said there is not a Final Fantasy Tactics crowd control. So, yeah. Healing spot, woot. That's actually nice, because my MP was gone. Yes! Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five.
If you're saying that that one spot with all the skinny platforms looks difficult, if I had more than 13 seconds, I wouldn't have panicked and I would have got at least one of the treasures, but I didn't know where to go and I kind of panicked. You do need a lot of luck to win the Board Game X Gamer. I've learned that the hard way on the other ones, but this one is a particularly long bitch. And I have a lot of TNT tickets, so we could try this for a while. I would like to win it, though. I want to know what the prizes are, man. What about a Toe Jam and Earl crowd control? That one I could see. I don't know if they have one, but that one I could see working. That could be interesting. So many enemies, so many wise and wizard bitches. I only have two rolls. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh wait, never mind. I got one roll back. Dude, if I get a two right now, I could win this. Damn it. Four, five. Okay. If I get a two, I win. Anything else? And this is the last roll. Last roll. Two and I win. Can we get can we hope for a two? Nope. I was sad. Oh, Jesus, you are indeed funky. Thank you, Worldwide Noob. Welcome in. How are you today? Da -da 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 I swear to God, a crowd control to a jam arrow would be such chaos. You summon a boogeyman, it'd be game over. All right, so we have to do the whole thing again because I was now I'm out of turns. I got an attempt at it though. The worldwide noob. By the way, welcome into the stream, worldwide noob. Did I say what's up? Welcome in. How you doing today? I'm getting sidetracked by what I'm doing right now. Hey, look, I rolled a die. I got an extra roll to die. Whoop de do. Three, four, five. Monster! I should change the party pick on the right side of the screen. You are correct. I should put my waifu on there. TNT board. Don't tell me that's a play on DND. I don't have to tell you. You already figured it out. I'm assuming that is the case, yes. It's Hip Hop a block miss All right, keep going. Two, three. Pa 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 ra 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 pa pa. All right, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Body moving. Oh wow, a whole, a whole one just for me. Six, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's four spaces forward. Or one, two, three, four, five, six is the forest. I'm gonna go four spaces forward. Fuck that. I don't even know where this goes, but let's do it. One, two, three, four. Aww, oh, but it's well worth I say that was still worth it. Two, three. Four, five, half magic. Ooh. We're moving around the board pretty fast this time, and I got a lot of fives. <laughs> Dungeons and dildos, not dragons and dildos. Although, what's the difference? Am I right? The enemies are kind of cute. Some of them are, yeah. All right, six. Again, one... Two, three, four, five, six gives me a treasure. One, two, three, four, five gets me the next stairs. I don't know where that goes though. I might take the treasure. Or chest of drawers. Empty! Gypped. Four spaces forward. One, two, three, four. There's a treasure. Gimme. Hades helm. Whoop de fucking do. 
All right. Boop, boop, boop. Bye bye, money. Hey, three more rolls. Let's go. Like, it doesn't really matter what I land on when I roll if I can't choose the way to go anyway, so I'm just rolling quick. Pager number 555. 555555. If you're wondering what's that 11 number, it's a 5! Or maybe it's all S's. Because people used to page each other messages using the numbers like lead speak style. And we're teleporting. Okay. And that's actually okay. I'm okay being over here. Metal slime! Kill it. Kill it good. Kill it real good. Or it can run away. That's fine. Bitch. I wouldn't mind landing on that treasure thing again, but that's a negatory this time around. Hey, I got a agility pepper thing. I'll take it. Free for her. Take the free heal. Well, we're going to get a shot at getting to the end this time if we don't land in a fucking trap door. Because I have a lot of rolls left. Two, three, four, five. This hurts, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like everyone's favorite lead speak. Boobs! No! The trap! I was so close, man! Ah, How many more tries do I give this before I just say fuck it and move on? I just want to beat the game. That's all I really want. I've only tried, what, like three times? So it's not like I've been here all day. Because I could be here all day trying. You never know. I might keep failing at the last second every time. But again, it doesn't take that long to give it an attempt. Of course, the back two spaces again. We're going to do this fucking loop again. This annoying ass loop. Suck my dick. Sip a disc. Gooby da. Dooby da. <laughs> no one's touching my 80085. Nobody. Give me more than a two, damn it. Thank you. Don't worry about that shit. Pack of monster munchies, dope. Well, not going that way. That's a trap door immediately. Wow. You got an extra TNT ticket. Suck it. All right, all right. Gotta love these random battles. They're the best. They're the best. They're the best. They're the best. Dup, dup, dup. <laughs> You're completely unsurprised. Murder these three eyed elephants. You're fine watching the board game montage. I mean, I just want to move on with the end, to the end of the game. I didn't know we were going to hit a TNT board at the very end, although I probably should have expected it. Because, again, there's only so... Like, I get, you get so many TNT tickets, and it only took me, like, a few tries on basically all the boards. So... I still had, like, 20 tickets. Money? I've never gone this way. Fuck it. I'm gonna lose my money, but I'm gonna go this way and hope I don't get a one. I've never gone this way. Where does this stair come out? More money lost, Woot. Okay, so this comes up from down below. I know. Okay, I see. Very dangerous, but we'll see. Some iPods! From the beats that are bumping from my iPod. My god, I hear them say. Mm 
No, where am I teleporting? No, that's a wait. That was a waste of time. Teleport. Cause I was closer than that when I before I hit that teleport. Two metal slimes that I won't be able to kill. Dope. Because I knew they were going to run away. What's the fucking point when they run away so easily? No pot. Nothing in the pot. Nothing up my sleeves. I'll take the move five spaces forward. Works for me, dog. Dragoofs! What a goof! Best way to kill uh, slimes in this game is critical hits. Sadly, no Elena. Sadly, no Elena. Yeah, crit hits are just not something I come by too often in this in this game. If I get a two right now, we can win. Come on. Well, I got a three. So that's at least good. So... If I get a four or less, I'm going to be a happy boy. Or I don't want a one, though. Four, 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 four. Ha! have to do a loop around. How many rolls do I have? I have enough rolls to loop around. But I don't think I'm going to make it. We'll see. It all depends if I get some extra rolls. Some extra help getting around that board. Jesus, look at all these fucking slimes. Go away. I'm not even going to bother with the metal slimes because they're going to run. Exactly. I'm just going to get rid of these little bastards and then fa fuck these fat bastards up. <sighs> Fucking fat slimes die! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Just die already, you king slime bitch. Alright, six rolls to get around one more time. Oh god, not what I'm gonna do that. Oh, uh, well, I guess I get a free heal. 300 gold to heal? I don't even need it. Fuck it, who cares? Fine. Give me around the board. One, two, three. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna probably come up short, making it back around one more time. Unless I get a high roll right here. The Matasaurus. Have I fought one of these things? Maybe. May the roll O's be with you. The power of the roll gods compels you. One, two. Come on, give me a three. If you give me a three right now, we win. Give me a three. Do it. Fuck! Alright, well, I have one roll to get another four. If I get a four, I win. Anything else, we lose anyways. Here we go. Fuck! Of course, you give me another battle on the way out. Alright. I think I'm going to try this one more time. One more time. Unless we lose, like, real fast. But one more close attempt at winning. And if that's it, then we'll stop playing this stupid mini game for now. Even though the reward is probably amazing. Man, that makes me sad. So close. Alright, this will be my last attempt at this. And then we'll just move on. Like I said, unless I hit a trapdoor right away. If I get close, it's my last attempt. Treasure! Ooh. Cobra Claw. Do I even have one of those? I don't think I do. If I do, I don't remember. Alright. We need higher rolls if we're going to move quickly, though. Damn it. That last attempt was so good. I had so many fives and sixes. Mm 
fucking killing those moblins like it ain't nothing. Alright, I'm gonna go this way for the three forward spaces. Uh, I don't even know if I fought these crossbones, guys, but probably. Fucking pirate looking motherfucker. Mechanical pirate bitch. I got paralyzed? And it automatically makes you lose? What the fuck? That's the first time I've ever gotten paralyzed by myself. I didn't know it was an automatic game over. That's... Oh, that was trash. Well, that's the equivalent of losing too quickly to count as a real attempt. So, gonna keep going. One more try. Because I didn't get very far. Dude, can we get higher than twos and ones? Seriously. I love starting off slow. Isn't it the best? Three rolls already. We've moved four spaces. Also, shit. My HP starts at one? That's not good. The only good thing about that is I'm going to get my HP back every time I attack, so that's fine. I didn't realize I was going to have one HP. Paralyze definitely is different than Final Fantasy. I'm used to Paralyze just give like freezing you in place until you... Or potentially making you not be able to attack, you know, Pokemon style. Not in this game. Straight up, stop, you lose. Three, one, let's lose money or, you know, let's take this warp. I've never taken it. Yeah, I was like, I don't even know where this goes. Let's try a, a path never ventured. We got a kamikaze bracer again. We got a bunch of those. Four, five, exclamation point is attribute change. And we're going to get strength up. Dope. Two, three. Gotta take the stairs. And we're here. Okay. I don't know if that was a faster side path or not. I, not that I really had a choice. Well, I did. I, I chose that. I did. Never mind. But whatever. Hopefully it was worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going back. Hate the backwards. Let's move forward to go back. You do get a certain amount of dice rolls. You start off with 25 dice rolls, Pixie. That's why I keep... I've already lost on running out of dice rolls twice. And I've fallen the trap door twice. And I've got paralyzed once. And that's pretty much been my five failures so far. What was I doing the morning of... 9 11 2001 i was waking up to go to school and they had my mom had that shit on tv i didn't know what the fuck was going on i was like is this real this is happening like this is actually happening right now like shit was crazy i forget what year that like what school year i was in 2001 i guess i would have been in like seventh grade Eighth grade, maybe? Anyway, I got a free Yggdrasil Leafs. That's cool. Four, five. Moving forward, four spaces. I was 13. Yeah, but I wasn't in high school yet. I know that. So I had to be in eighth grade. That's weird that it was 8th grade, because it feels like it was I was younger than that, but that, that's correct. It has to be, based on the year. Thank God. I thought I was going to land on the thing for a second. Okay, give me a three, and we got this. Give me a three, baby. Give me a three. Fuck! <laughs> All right. If I roll a four, we win right here, though. 
you were in your second stint at college and you were asleep, no class that day. Um, yeah, I woke up for school and I think we ended up going to school, but then we all got sent home. I don't think we stayed at school that day. You were in sixth, sixth grade that year, Pixie? Ah, at least I didn't get a one. I have a lot of rolls left though. We can definitely make another lap. Also, we could get another two right now. If I get a two, I win. I just very rarely get the same number twice in a row. Although it does happen. It's not It's not impossible. I did hit that go back two spaces like two times in a row. So three times in a row. So it's possible. Seventh grade is technically high school for you, Pixie. Okay. I mean, different places do it different. Not even necessarily countries. Like, some places, middle school starts sixth grade. When I was in middle school, middle school was seventh grade. But then they they changed it to sixth grade like right when I got done with Things change all the time. I didn't get the two, by the way. That makes me sad. Before my time, but when the space shuttle Challenger exploded, you were in sixth grade, and it was my 12th birthday. Definitely before my time. Da, da, one, two, three, ba, ba, ba. Damn it. I just got some gold and I lost it all. Don't get a one. Thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got another rollback. All right. Anything but a four is fine. I'd love a two, though. Yes! All right. We need a one, two, three, four, five to win. All right. We're good. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, baby! Hell yeah. The last attempt. I tell you, when I make an ultimatum, the world hears me. Hell yeah. Okay, so I guess I drop in the middle hole. Yeah, it looks like it. This guillotine doesn't seem to be anything. Hell yeah, there's those treasures. Give them. Come to daddy. Okay, mini metal. That's whatever at this point. Give me something good. A TNT free pass. I don't want to play the TNT game anymore. I'm, I'm good. I want an actual good usable thing. The Sands of Time? Are we playing Prince of Persia? What the fuck? In battle, they can reverse time itself. Seems that they have some kind of special effect of using time during battle. No fucking shit. Okay, can you like go back a turn? Like, that's a cool item and all, but really, all that work for not even an equipable thing. I'm a little sad about that. No equipable. <sighs> Whatever. Sands of Time was in DQ4 and it worked the same as well. It basically restarted the battle. Oh, it restarts the battle. Okay. That's kind of cool. I tell thee, good sir, a great treasure lives on Mount Zugzwang. A treasure be named the Ghoul Roarer. It is but the conjecture of a long deceased knight, but I would wager such a treasure exists nowhere else in the world. Okay, so there's a cool treasure on the mountain. Is the mountain not where the end of the game is? Grandmaster Nimzo is a great god now, but he was once a human. But don't tell anyone, or you'll be rotting in your grave before you stay, say, putrid. Cool. Affectionately worded epitaph to the deceased. Useful for a metal slime? True, true. Or if you guys get shafted, also true. There's definitely a use for it. I just don't know if it's enough use to make it really that worth it, you know? Can I get those things over there? Ah, uh, I didn't want to take that. Damn it. Stop it! Stop it! Alright. Alright. I don't think I can get in this side room. Can I? Oh, totally can. Never mind. I just want to see if anything is in these pots. Or in this dead body. It's just a corpse, y'all. 
damn it hella not worth it okay well cool i'm glad we took the time to do all of that dope all right well it's just a tnt minigame dopage i mean it was cool we we did it, it took me like fucking half hour but we did it <laughs>